Good morning and welcome to day 93 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, my maths work it out then, so this will be 100 days next Friday or next Saturday. I don't know, maybe you could let me know. Maybe we could check the dates, but uh, there we go. Good morning, welcome to this fantastic Friday feeling. You've made it through the week. We are now on Friday the 19th of June in the year of our Lord. 2020. I hope this week has been good. It's it's probably been like most weeks for me. It's been up and down and very busy and Wednesday peaks because it starts early and finishes late. Thursday then is a bit of a blur and Friday I'm back in the game. So uh, it's interesting, a very full spiritual day for me today. But I want us to have a little think about that meditation, contrary to most popular belief, is not about completely clearing your mind of thoughts. It's about, for me, having a single point of focus with no judgmental thoughts. You see, your mind, your brain, your subconscious, your conscious has so much to offer. It's just about understanding it and how we work with it, how we change our relationship with certain things. You know, I've, I've spoke at length about changing your relationship to stress, to emotion, to all of these things. But one thing that is beautiful is the ability to manifest. Manifesting is a great way of amplifying your attracting power. When you align yourself with your loving energies and that of the universe, you can manifest all that you desire. Now, I'm going to chuck a spiritual caveat into the middle of all of that, and that is manifesting materialistic wealth for no other reason but for abundance of cash doesn't work for me. Um, our money is a byproduct of what we do, it's not the reason we do it. And people say, yeah, you can say that because, you know, he's doing it. No, it's never been my way. Money has always been the byproduct of what I do. What I do is I care for people and I help people and I engage with people and I try to bring people to the party in all aspects of my business. Whether that was in professional football where I was well world-renowned for fan engagement and fan experience because I wanted people to come to the games and have those moments of, it, of escapism, have those moments of feeling part of something bigger than self. And it's no difference in my restaurant and bars business when I had that. It was called Cariad, which means love. We were there to give people an experience. We didn't want people just to come and eat. We wanted people to come and experience and, and do different uh, drinks and food and all of this sort of stuff. And my spiritual life is the same. I'm here to help you to help yourself live a happy, balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose. But what is that purpose? And how can we manifest some of the things that we want? And I'm speaking to a lot of people at the moment. And what we're finding is, is that that change is happening. That awakening is happening. You see, people have left jobs or been furloughed or they're in a situation where they don't know the security around their jobs. And what that's doing, it's creating a vacuum for them to be able to build their own business, holistic center, healing, mediumship, whatever it is, people now are having this break, this opportunity to move forward. And when there's change, there is always opportunity, always. As one door closes, if we manifest and work correctly, several will open. So this manifestation video is, or meditation, is about 15 minutes long. Never be worried about manifesting anything that you want or you desire. You know, people think about this fine balance of, you know, spirit and ego and, and greed and, and, and misuse of manifestation or poor values or whatever the scenario is. If you want to manifest something that is going to have a material benefit on your life to allow you to implement self-care, which will allow you then to influence, help, assist and support somebody else, I guarantee you, your manifestation will come to life. But with all manifestation, you have to give it energy every single day. Even if you just talk about it, think about it, write about it, 
draw a picture about it. Doesn't matter what it is, bring it to life. Talk about it in the present sense. Not that I am going to, it's I have. I, have. I own a spiritual center. It's not built yet, but I own it. It's gonna be there, I know it's gonna be there. Things are gonna move forward. And that's important. So just take a moment to think about what you would like to manifest and the reasons for that and what the values are that underpins it. And then we can go into the meditation. It's that funky Friday feeling, guys, and it's the day now where we're going to feel and attract some very positive power and energy. We're going to move away from some of the higher consciousness staleness of the movement of COVID and the uprising of some serious tensions around the world, not just the ripples and ramifications of the murder of George Floyd. So today we're gonna to be positive. Today we're gonna to think about how we're gonna take our life forward over the next X a couple of weeks, X a couple of months into 2021, which is the year of us and our spiritual uprising. The year you finally or truly grow those angelic wings and fly into a happy, balanced, spiritual life with clarity and purpose. I'm going to put a picture up and we're going to start the meditation. Now this meditation practice you can do while sitting or lying down in a comfortable space, but it's got to be a quiet space. And make yourself completely comfortable and make sure that this moment now we're not going to be disturbed. The ability to manifest lies within every one of us. What it takes is learning simple techniques in mindfulness, though things like meditation, through things like meditation, and to awaken our inner power. Contrary to popular belief, as I said earlier, it's not about completely clearing your mind. We have a mind for a reason. Meditation is training your mind to perform exactly how we intend it to, instead of allowing the mind to drag us around. With your eyes closed now firmly, just take a deep breath in. And you breathe out. So by honoring our breath, we're ready to set intentions to create a very positive experience. And begin by setting the intentions to manifest the changes you desire. I just want you to say to yourself now, I manifest the changes that I desire. Let's repeat that. I manifest the changes that I desire. And let's honor our breath now by taking five very significant and dedicated breaths. Number one, fully inhale, expanding your belly and chest as much as you can, holding it for a moment, and then exhale, feeling a wave of deep relaxation just sweep all over you. Two, inhale again, filling the entire breathing system with fresh oxygen, hold it. And as you exhale, notice again that there's this wave of relaxation gently sweeping all over you. Three, inhale again, so deeply that you can feel yourself now absolutely brimming with air, but taking a moment at the top to soak in the life force in that we call oxygen. And exhale, noticing your body relaxing in many areas without any effort. Four, fully inhale again and fully inhale the life force, feeling these breaths purifying your entire body. And when you exhale, not trying to do anything at all, simply notice how you are feeling. And five, the last one, a full and beautiful breath coming in, hold it, feeling the goodness of this simple task. Exhale, allowing that wave of relaxation to again sweep over you. And just take a moment now, 
just to note how you're feeling in this very moment. And by doing these breathing exercises, you now have an abundance of oxygen. And this is how we were truly created to feel. Breathing deeply and fully is an expression of self-compassion. It unites us with the universal love, the conscious mind. And let your breath now just be natural and notice how abundance of breath feels. And we know this is our new tool that we can use when we're ready to manifest the reality you desire. And if you're feeling any kind of lack of motivation or negative inner talk, you can immediately pause and take those five deep, purposeful and powerful breaths. And these breaths allow for you to relax. Taking these conscious and dedicated breaths gives you the clarity and the ability to amplify your health. So in the next time you catch yourself at a standstill, just make time for those five very healing breaths. A manifestation is easy once you know the recipe. All you need is three things. Desire, dedication, and trust. And desire is the first ingredient in manifestation. You must know what you want and desire it so greatly that you clearly see any path that you need to take, you will get there. Knowing exactly what you're manifesting is very important. The more details you can add to the desire, the better. You can write down your aspirations and goals and you can set an exact time that will be accomplished. And when you set an exact time to when your goals will be met and you write it down, the order is firmly given to your subconscious mind and now and know it's taking action. And take a moment to think about your dreams and aspirations and as, in as many vivid and details as possible. And dedication is the second ingredient in manifestation. Only you can put in the effort to take the steps towards your desires, to work with others, motivate yourself to practice these meditation techniques every day. You must dedicate time every single day to do something that takes you closer to gaining what you seek. Only you can do this. No one else can be dedicated for you. And understand and learn that manifestation starts with you. And just notice how you feel when you just breathe in and you breathe out now. Understanding that dedication is more than just a word. It's a deed. And the last ingredient for manifestation is trust. This is the easiest part because you simply let go and trust. You completely let go of thinking too hard about the things you've had to do to bring it all together and have the confidence that things always fall into place perfectly. You must know with certainty that your goal is attainable, so have faith. And take a few moments now to really trust in your desires becoming a reality. And notice how you're feeling right now. And just say to yourself, I know I can achieve my aspirations. I deeply believe in myself. I see clearly how my goals and aspirations are attained. I have a great desire to manifest my aspirations. I put in a daily dedication that is required of me. I always from now on believe in myself and I trust the loving energy of the divine and of the universe. V 
visualizing is an extremely powerful way to manifest. So imagine now that you've attained all that you desire. See yourself vividly in your mind, having already achieved all of your goals. Visualize with great detail yourself with your in inten intentions completely fulfilled. Notice what you look like and who you're talking to. And the more details you can add, the better. See the surroundings such as where are you, the places you go and who is around you. Take several moments to vividly see yourself having manifested all that you wish. This is a changing for your life. This is a changing for you to go forward and be better. So remember, honor your every breath, every single day, by taking a moment to fully breathe in and to fully breathe out. And when you breathe deeply, you automatically relax. And being relaxed is the first step to being in control of your life and your emotions. Now take these three words and remember them throughout the day. Desire, dedication and trust. And repeat them to yourself whenever you can. And just remember, every day now, this desire, this aspiration that you have, you bring it to life. Talking, giving it energy, drawing, writing, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Just bring it to life. Take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and wiggle your fingers. So there's a manifestation. Uh, meditation. So it's good for you to understand that you need desire, you need dedication, but you have to trust. And those things really are paramount in everything that we do. And going forward, I want you to manifest this beautiful aspiration that you have. And time is now for you to grasp the opportunity to change the way you do things forever and ever. Amen. Mindfulness challenge. What day is it? <laughs> I think it's day 92, I think. Yeah, it is. Manifest challenge, day 92. 93. Wow, I got it wrong. It's 93. <laughs> you can see it's not edited. Anyway, make those changes. Be love and give love. Good morning, Julian. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Manifesting everything you desire. Feeling that beautiful, karmic, cooling, aspirational energy inside you. And I'll see you tomorrow.